What does it take to succeed in business and investing? Differentiation is among the key ingredients. You need to offer a product that differs from the competition in a way that clients recognize as added value. If you want to beat the market as an investor, the first thing you need to do is something different from all other investors. Or as Howard Marks, CFA, put it in the most important thing, you can't do the same things others do and expect to outperform. But every differentiation is an act of creativity, which most people believe peaks at a young age. The myth of the innovative business person is driven by stories about young geniuses who revolutionize their fields. Elon Musk is the youthful entrepreneur who tore up the manual on how to build cars and moved electric vehicles into the mainstream. And now he is about to bring space travel to the masses. And in the investment world, John C. Bogle launched the first index mutual fund in 1976 and went on to revolutionize how we invest. Conceptual versus experimental innovators, but this image of young, disruptive innovators who reinvent their industries is incomplete. As David W. Galenson observes, the media and creativity research have focused too much on these so called conceptual innovators. Conceptual. Innovators tend to be very young and enter an industry and turn it upside down. They are not beholden to convention or to how things are supposed to work. And ample research indicates that this kind of creativity does decline with age. Yet the vast majority of innovations are not made by conceptual innovators but by experimental innovators. These innovators work inductively rather than deductively. A conceptual innovator like Elon Musk may look at an industry as a whole and deduce what a specific car, his Tesla, is going to look like and what technology is needed to best achieve these goals. In contrast, experimental innovators look at the world around them and learn how things work in practice. Then, based on this experience, they make adjustments and test them in real life. This methodology means that their innovations become more successful as their experience grows. Charles Darwin is a prominent example of an experimental innovator. He published his theory of evolution at the age of 50 after decades of investigation and research. In general, experimental innovators deliver their best work when they're older, often when they are well above 50. Why? Because as Darwin said, I have been speculating last night what makes a man a discoverer of undiscovered things, and a most perplexing problem it is. Many men who are very clever, much cleverer than discoverers, never originate anything. As far as I can conjecture, the art consists in habitually searching for causes or meaning of everything that occurs. This implies sharp observation and requires as much knowledge as possible of the subject investigated. For more on this story, visit the news article link.